We're getting ready to move on the uh, fast craft over from Iloilo City to Bacolod, and right now we're at the Progreso La Paz terminal, and uh, hopefully be a little bit faster than the standard row row, which I understand is three hours versus like hour and a half to two hours. So I'll see you on the boat. Now we made it into the terminal, but you have to first buy a ticket, then you have to go get a seating pass, then you have to go to another counter and get a terminal fee. So there's three counters you have to go to when you do the fast track trip and get away to the table. So we're just waiting here for them to call us to board the, the boat. Here's our boat for today, the Ocean Jet 3. Fast craft. Thank you. You'll find out. This is Bacola Terminal. This is Simplac. Simplacito. Manacacito. I know I'm butchering that. So we're not sure what we're going to do right now. But we'll probably go try out the... Uh, ruins and then head over to Mercy for the factory tour. Let's see how long it takes to uh, get through this authority process. We just paid our 150 per adult to go in to the ruins. We're here in one of the more famous attractions here at Bacola. And our tour guide, Love Love. She's been here before. Welcome to the ruins right there. It's just like a old temple of a sort that they put a modern roof structure on. Souvenir shop. Serene music. Wow. 
Wow. I don't know when this was built, but... The ruins. It's the rock garden now on the outside of the mansion. Obviously, addition they build on just for beautification. And of course, you have the entrance to the uh, seats along this uh, little pond. We love Mercy Piaia so much wow. we can uh, I have to come all the way from the States. Yes, wow. We're walking into the main shopping area, into the factory floor. This is the visitor center to be. We're working on that. And we're welcome to the Piaia land. So, since uh, Piaia land is the first state of the art Pasalubong factory here in Pacolod and in Negros, so given that the machines here are all aligned according to its functions. So, over here for a closer look, this is the first station, this is the Piaia station. So we have, I know, we have three flavors. If you're familiar, we have original, ube, and mango flavor. Mm -hmm. I just experienced made. mango for the first time when I landed at the airport. I bought the mango. Really? So I had some for breakfast this yeah. morning with my coffee. So um, here in this plant, we make 150,000 pieces of piaya in a day. That's wow. That's how much we make here. Awesome. <laughs> Can you tell us the, the ingredients without giving away the secret? No, oh, that's a trade secret. <laughs> no, I mean the basic. But, but we, it's um, flour and pube. We, we're allowed to know the ingredients, but okay. we're not allowed to know the exact composition uh, of each. Yeah, yeah. 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 So basically flour. If you're making the original flavor, the filling is muscovado sugar. Yes. If we're making ube, of course, purple yam. So right now we don't have production of the mango flavor because mango is a seasonal fruit. Oh. Okay. So we have a hard time sourcing the raw materials for that. So what we usually make every day is original and ube. Oh, okay. So make gumin salad. Yes. Uh, what we usually do, we make the dough over there, and then. There's um, a roll-in fat, 
rolled in fat, and then after that, it's rolled in sesame seeds, mm -hmm. and then it goes through this machine where they put the filling, mm -hmm. and then it will be flattened. Mm -hmm. So you 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 it's a flat because yeah. filling and then yes. I see the machine, it makes a perfect size diameter puck and then the pressure is as such we have, I don't know the best thing, the pancake looking yes, perfect. Pancake. <laughs> Actually it used to be manually made. Yes. Manually put the filling, yes. manually flatten, but it takes a lot of time. That's why we decided to have it mechanized so that we could produce more in a day. Piaya griddle because our piaya it is not baked it is grilled. Uh -huh. I was wondering about that. So there's no oil anything, right? None. They don't stick to the pan. No, it's a piaya griddle. It's like a biscuit because like a. Uh, oh yeah. Because what they do is um, they must have some oil in the once batch. Once they put the piaya in the griddle, once they reach the end. By the time by the time they come back, it's ready. It's ready to be flipped. Oh and then wow! By the time they flip the end and come back to the start again, it's ready to be harvested. So that's what we call time in motion. Where they are cold. And there you go. That's innovative assembly line. Mm -hmm. So usually, if it's peak season like um, Christmas or January, when tourists are already going back home, all of this are on being turned on. All of this have PIS in them. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and then after that, inside the is the area. packing area. So after it's packed, it still undergoes a metal detector metal detector machine. Whoa. Just to be sure. Okay. Because of course, um, the machines that we are using are all metal. So we can't avoid um, foreign objects not visible to the eye. Is it air conditioned in there for the workers? No, too? it's not. Okay. Uh, we're not allowed to have air conditioned for products okay. like this, especially the baked products because moisture. Yeah, it takes away uh, the moisture, aroma, and everything. That's why they only have um vent for ventilation. There's huge fans. <laughs> For the Diaya, yeah, yeah, we make 150,000 a day. Here for the Biscotcho, we make 90,000 slices oh, wow. a day. And um, what we're proud of our Biscotcho is, unlike other bake shops, Biscotcho is only made from leftover bread for others. But here, we make it fresh. So it's we use freshly baked breads for the biscuit shot, not leftover yeah. bread. It's normally the yes. leftover. Oh, normally it's leftover bread. But here this one is fresh made. But surely why you add a mercy twist to it, right? It takes four days to make the biscuit okay. shot run up. I got you. Dry so it dry it's bun. not a one day process. You can't have it in just a day because yeah, we make it fresh. So usually the steps is first day we make the bread, fresh from the dough. Uh, it's gonna stay in the proofing room overnight. Proofing room is where we rig for the bread to raise. Al saang bread. Yes. Yeah. To and, yeah. and then it's being left overnight, and then after that it will be baked. Once it's baked, it will be sliced, and then they will put the spread, and then it will be left overnight again. And then after that, it will be toasted. That's why it's crunchy. They put butter. I haven't tried it. So butter, it's really good. It's a butter sugary mixture. Yeah. Okay. That's good. what they put on top. Very good. That's why you have to save our Murphy's biscuit shop because it took four days for that to be made. It's a long process. I mean, the whole order is, I mean, kaya nga empty sa palito. So, we call it the rack oven because literally, the whole rack goes in. Oh, that's, that's the freshly baked bread for the biscotcho who just got out from the proofing room. So it will now be baked. So this is his first day of baking. That's a lot of biscotcho. Mm -hmm. There, you can see up close how they make the dough. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where they slice it and put the spread over there. Whoa, oh, they put a spread on it. Yeah, it, yeah. Butter, is, sugary, it? buttery mixture. Okay. For the biscotcho, um, it can't be it can't be mechanized because um, the bread is uneven. Mm -hmm. It's like this, so it has to be done manually. 
Yeah, I seen I'm cutting it into three pieces, yeah. I think. Yeah, that's where they've been. Right the there. That person there's cutting. And then put the spread right there. Now, do they put the spread on after it's cooked or before it's cooked? After it is baked. Okay. Then after that, it will be left overnight and then toasted. And then they will toast it again. Okay. It's not baked, uh, it's not baked twice, it's toasted already. Okay. I'd have to look at the finished product. And over there, that's the biscotto area. Ah, biscotto butterscotch area. Butterscotch. Oh, oh wow. Mom, we bought butterscotch. Have you tried Mercy's butterscotch? No. no. Walks up. Yes, my wow, it all looks so good. I have to try some here at the end. In the middle, that's where the um, other items like butter cookies, cream toast, toasted mamon, garlic toast. What are these square items right here? That's for the cream toast. Okay. They're so they're full nice. of. Is there cream inside? No, just um, similar to biscotto, but this one is more on cream, creamy. I got you. There's still more room for machines. Once we can transfer other Basalibo items here. When did you think you would be finished with the addition of the new building? Early 2025. Okay. Perfect timing to come back. Yeah. 2025. Oh, this is the entrance to the walkway to the new building that'll be finished in 2025 as she's discussing with us today. Hey, did that make you hungry? Yeah, I some butter cookies or what the heck? Oh, makes me hungry. Makes me hungry to get some. The eye goes good with everything. That's the soon to be facility to be finished in 2025. And this is the storefront that will be accessible through the. Good thing is they are giving us a 10% discount today on our Piaia. And we're going to go ahead and try a couple of these various products I haven't got a chance to try before. So let's shop. Banana strings. Wow. Biscotto. Biscotto. Toasted in my mouth. Well, am I looking at it right? 36 pesos? Yeah. My gosh. What a deal. And these are the snacks that And get you some too. Uh -oh. Bacon, bacon piaya. I'm not sure about that one. Here's the original flavor. Mascabo sugar. Mascabo. I'm not sure. But I'm not sure. Here's some uh, barquilli. Barquilli. I can't even say it. Barquilli dos. They got banana chips too, I don't know. And nice. All right, I want to thank Nestle for being our personal guide today on this factory too. We really love the Mercy products. I enjoy them so much. I travel from the United States, Florida, just to try this. Uh, see this factory tour and try the final touch. Mmm. Good. Ubi Piaia. Tanan manamit. Tanan manamit. Tanan manamit. Say it. Oh, Tanang manamit. Tanan manamit. Tanang manamit. Yes, perfect. Very good. Thank you. All right. So go out and get you some. Mm. Hi. Let's eat, guys. Chicken in a salad at Bacolod. Yes. Oh, yeah. Number one, chicken in the cell. So we're gonna try yes. some today. Yes. Kuya Gilbert brought us here for some chicken in the cell. Hello. Hi. Kuya Gilbert. <laughs> Salama Kuya. 
All right, I'm getting ready. I want to order three legs. I want three legs of chicken and just some. All right, we're in Bacola City, and I'm trying the famous chicken and the sal. Nice, very good. And this orange right here is my uh, chicken oil. And of course, in the Philippines, you have to have your dipping sauce. Don't have my dipping sauce there. So let's give it a go. Oh, that's good. It's a different taste in the Ilo, Ilo City and then Pampanga. It's mm. organic. Yeah, it's a native chicken, which translates us as an organic chicken. Mm. And I'm gonna give it a go with the sauce with the sauce now. Dipping sauce has a little bit of sila or peppers, uh, calamansi, soy sauce, and suka, which is vinegar. Yeah. I'm gonna try the lemon royal soda today. It has a Fanta flavor, so I bet you the orange. I'll try the orange. I bet you it tastes just like orange Fanta. Very good, very good. It's Royale's a Filipino flavor, but it's likened to orange Fanta and this lemon uh, Royale right here. It's both very good. Try some more. That's really good. I'm going to dump some of the chicken oil on the rice to give it a little extra flavor. Mm. Oh, there you go, chicken into sauce. Bacolod City is famous for it, and it tastes awesome. I highly recommend you give this a go. This is my after dinner snack, Napoleonis from Mercy. It's an ubi filled layered treat. They're only good for three days, so you gotta get them fresh. Mm. It's full of ube. It's just a little piece of heaven and a bite of food. Yum. So another wonderful product by our friends over at the Mercy Factory, Napoleonis. This is it right here. Campus Dahan. You like that? You can do any of it you want. I apologize for interrupting the video, but there is some copyright music playing in the in the background. So I'm gonna do this brief voiceover during this music and kind of give a little more content. So we just arrived here at the park. This particular facility in front of you that looks like a Holland type of architecture is actually uh, where you go to check in 
for the various rooms I have to offer. Uh, subsequent footage, you're going to see the gorilla head dressed as Santa, and you're going to see uh, the teepees in the village, and along with the regular rooms that have these unique uh, facades that you can stay within. So this, I. I believe this is a place where you check in for that, but as far as pricing, you'll have to go to their website and contact them. Uh, one of the unique things about this facility is all the various statues that they put in. There's literally hundreds of them. World War II plain Santa Claus, uh, common uh, cartoon figures or, and shows of the day, big dinosaurs. So that's the one thing that can take it a lot of time just to go explore these various uh, statues and I commend the folks here that are actually putting forth effort to grow this facility and they continue to grow with there's actually construction going on that is occurring right now so I'm gonna let you go back to the video again thank you for watching like an Indian village over there It's broken up the side of the mountain. Look at all the cool little things to see. Souvenir shop. <laughs> cool. The T-Rex. Wow, a bunch of stuff to do. guest tables more guest tables over here it looks part of a uh, skywalk type thing and they're expanding hamster wheel horseback so rope course 200 zip line 200 hamster wheel sky bike 100 Walking dinosaur, 35. Okay. Oh, look at the Ungoy over there. Dressed up for Christmas. And another swimming pool. The male bathroom is a shoe. Thirty five pesos for one minute. Outdoor cafe. Is this where? Transformers, Kampu, Kampu Stop, Stahoan. I know I'm murdering that word. Big giant octopus.
Look at the bubble machine. Going up to Tower A. Keisha's gonna do her first ever Hi. zip line, right? First ever zip line, right? Yeah. Okay. First time. So we're gonna go from A to Z. I don't know how far that is, but yeah. it looks to be <laughs> over a thousand feet run there. Oh, yeah. So we'll see. We'll ask the guy when we come to the top. So look at we gotta go way up there. Those cages are the hamster wheels. You get inside and walk them. Oh, oh yeah. See you on the top. Right here, it's the hamster wheels that go from tower A to B, but we're gonna go tower D, way down there. Let's go up some more. We gotta go up more, right? Still more. No problem, okay, this is, I think, our tower. We have to wait for the Puya. Maybe it is one more. Here we go. Look at the pool over here, Keisha. Yeah, I see it. It goes way up. Oh yeah, here we go, zip line. Here's our zip line contraption. Going to Tower D. Four five all, four five. Nice. All right, they're gonna put you in a harness. Keisha, they're going to put you in a harness that you're effectively making a seat out of the web. Look. First time. First time zip line in Kuya. First Pixel line, pixel now. What? Wait, one more. Do it. Peace. Got you. Professional. How many meters, Kuya? 320. 320 meters. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm proud of you. You can do anything. Sit down, mom. Sit down. Straight legs, mom. Straight. Don't forget. 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 Don't for
Alright, let it sit like Stay a chair. Stay elbow, ma'am, straight naman. Hindi pa kay benda, kay before ka mag-landing, may stopper lang yung bungguan. Para safe time nito, may go-a stopper, dapat naka-lock straight, then hindi magbuya, okay? okay. Stay there naman, position mo, dapat naka-lie down, okay? Remember, look around. Have fun! Yeah. Sit down legs mo, ma'am. Masangit sa cable. Sit down straight. Straight. Nahan. Okay, look straight. around. There she goes! Tisha! <laughs> still going, still going. All the way to Tower D. I think they got her. I apologize, but I have very loud copyright music playing in the background. But I wanted to walk down to the front entrance, and it's a really cool Camp Western Highland Resort, the line and the draft, and uh, the various figures. It's pretty cool. Um, I also wanted to take time to walk over here on this back side where you can see the overhead sky bridge, and uh, that's Tower D where the zip line terminated. Uh, this mastodon structure you see on the right that actually has you can see the windows up there there are rooms that maybe you can stay in there i'm not for certain uh, over here there was a kiddie pool section that is i'm going to turn left right here and come along but the kiddie pool section is up on the left other you can see another window there so um i thought it was kind of cool as i was walking up the, the Various pick the tables had dinosaur head trash cans as well. Well, the copyright music is just about finished, so let's resume normal audio. <laughs> water park, water slide. More of a kiddie pool area over here. We have a lazy river. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at the shoe. Art. Everywhere you look, there's art. Even the rails are bone. Bone rail. In the bathroom. In the male shoe. The shoe for the male's bathroom. Keisha, stop. Stop. I'm going to go past. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Yeah.
Naringag yun namin sa taon ko. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Alright, that's a wrap. From what's it called? Kapustuhan! 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 Out! All right, look at this cool tree here at Bacolod Ayala Malls. Look at way in. I oh, hear this. Ayala Malls, Capital Central. Four floors. Out outdoor eatery. Awesome. Awesome. She Hello. concentrates to take the perfect picture. Yeah. Yeah, they have a pancake house. Oh, a pancake house. Uh, wow. It's almost like International House of Pancake in the States. All right, we just walked into Jollibee. I'm going to try some spicy chicken majora. Never tried their chicken, so this is an opportunity to give it a good one. So, this is the sake of funness, spicy, chicken joy, with the meal deal is 113 pesos, like two dollars. How can you go wrong with that? Alright, it's been kind of rainy, so I haven't been video, but we're at Mambukan uh, Resort in the Hot Springs. So check this out. Oh yeah, that's hot water over there. There's a waterfall that's really, really hot. And then these water streams over here on the right have colder water to help balance the temperature that you want. So if I go over there, it just fogs up the lens. Hey, how's the water? Hot. <laughs> the water's hot? It's about maybe 75. No, that water is over 100 degrees. That water is about 100 to 110 degrees over here, but it's 140 degrees over there. That hot water is this too hot. Really nice. Tisha. Hi. I'm video now. Are you having fun? Yes. What's the name of this place? Um, Mambukan. No, Mau, 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 Yeah, Mau, 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 Where's your mom? <laughs> oh. Ooh. I'm video. Yeah. You having a good time? Yeah. Nice water. Hi. I'll just show you all oh, those are big fruit bats. Those bats are like 16 inches to 20 inch wingspans. A lot of bats. They're all over. Thousands of big fruit bats. I think they're fruit bats. I'm not certain. Well, I've never seen that many bats at once. I mean, there's thousands of these big old bats. And that's kind of cool to see them. But we are in the mountains a little bit. All right, we're coming up to the Japanese garden. <laughs> That's it. You can swim there. No, it's extra fee. Uh, it's an extra fee, I guess, to swim here. Uh, I don't see. Set your limit at 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe it's so hot. Okay. And do one more pan view. The Japanese hot spring. At least it stopped raining. It just has a lot of drip, so it keeps dripping on the camera. Guest quarters on the left, and maybe a restaurant. Not sure. 
Oh, the spa. There you go. Nature spa right there. Mambucao. Mambucao. I have to see the word to pronounce it sometimes. But no problem. Oh, this is their new trellis. Right over there is a swimming pool. I'll go back. Swimming pool area. There's a map. Maybe you can see that when I stop and uh, pause the video. Okay. There's the baby bat. The mountain spring. We're gonna picture it here on all of us. Okay. I'll get my camera out. Alrighty. It's still raining. We're gonna stop at the Mambuco front gate signature sign. I can get out here. Okay, get out of our ride. Which we have God's taxi helping us. There's the hotel. Watch my step here. Okay. Right. I'm just a video wave. Hi, wave. Very good. Nice. Mambuco. Resort and Wildlife Sanctuary. Recommended. <laughs> recommend. Yes, we recommend it. Highly recommend. So Come I'm on. going to sign off for now. We stopped at the side of the road here, up on the mountain. Have the uh, line statue. And for a small donation, they would allow you to take a picture of this overpass. And I was looking down over the side, and there's a church, but also look at this little sanctuary part of the church there's a you may not be able to see it but there's a bunch of little statues of the mother mary and jesus and uh there's a brother monk and then there's a canopy down there that has a bunch of umbrellas sticking through the top for shade interesting let's go take a look at the lion's head Hello, sir. Welcome to my shout-out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's a joke. Alright, there's Lions Club from uh, Bacola City. So they have Lion Club in Philippines. Here's the map. If you look way in the center of the screen, there is a waterfalls over there. Quite large. You see the waterfalls way over there? Yeah. Maybe you can see them. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that waterfall is quite high. That's probably 400, 500 foot tall waterfalls. Nice. We're here at Zenya's Kitchenette, overlooking the mountain. I'm gonna order some. Uh, yeah, after this, oh, I order some chicken in the sal and some um, tocino, which is uh, tocino and egg and rice with a pitcher of lemonade. So we'll see how she tastes. It's still kind of rainy over here, so it's not much of a view. The view is all covered with uh, fog. Uh, over here. 
See a mountain stream down there. This is our driveway, Gilbert. South out. <laughs> Very good. Alrighty. Take some pictures and then we're going to wait for our food and we're going to go ahead and eat. And then we'll head to the fast craft.